That's, that's, what what that's, that's what we're doing. That's what we're doing. That's what we're doing. Y'all not going to leave me out of this. I'm going to hold you. 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 I heard y'all with the uh, yeah. bank heading. I, I know what's going on. I see what's going on. I see what's going on. Well, well, welcome back to Sister Circle Live. Of course, we are joined at the table by the very talented and handsome Dondre Whitfield from Owns yes. Queen Sugar. Yes. And we have him in the hot seat, and we're talking men and relationships, and we want to uh, get his take on a few things. Things. Yes. 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 Come on with it. Well, you know, you said something amazing during the break, and he is going to share that with you all. But I want to talk a little bit about security. Being secure in a relationship. Mm -hmm. You and your wife both are actors and actresses. She is. Right. Um, how do you handle those steamy scenes where mm -hmm. you're getting close or intimate with someone right. on camera? Well, the first thing that I do is when, whenever I'm doing that on screen as, I, as I'm currently doing on this show, mm -hmm. um, the first thing I do is, uh, is call my wife. Even though she knows what's, what's coming, the first thing I do is call her and say, hey, sweetheart, that scene is coming up, so I just wanted you to know that you know that's what I'm doing today, mm -hmm. and you know, and then once that's over, hey, I'm done. Um, I am an actor who has. First of all, what you need to do is you need to place boundaries on everything. Boundaries are a great thing. Yes. Mm -hmm. Boundaries protect you from not only yourself but other things around you. Mm -hmm. So the first thing I do is speak to an actress to say, "Here's what I don't do." Right. Mm -hmm. I don't do tongue. Mm -hmm. Right. So. Uh, so like, so you fake it? I'm like, yeah, there are many things. So if we were in the bed and we're supposed to be acting like we're actually love making, we don't actually do that thing. Right. So we're actually faking everything. Yeah. Right, right, right. So I yes, I do fake yeah. that. So the only tongue I do is with my wife. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so if you give everything to everybody, what's the special thing that you give your spouse or your partner? Mm -hmm. So you have to place boundaries on everything and then yes. properly communicate everything that you're doing as you do it. That's out of respect for your partner. Mm. What do you say to men who don't understand exactly what it means to be a man? Well, it's very difficult. First of all, wow. uh, it, it, it's difficult to explain this to a... What you're probably referring to is what I refer to as grown males. Mm. There's a huge difference between being a grown male and being a man. Somebody ought to shout it. <laughs> right so, there. So every, talk talk every, to us about that difference. Okay, yes. so every man that you meet is a male, but not every male that you meet is a man. Hello, Ooh. somebody. So your, your man, uh, the, the, the man that you meet is about his conscious knowing that he has been sent here to be a servant leader. So you all come first. So whenever you come in the room, you don't have to ask a man whether he is a man or not. He will show you who he is based on what he does. So a man comes in the room to mm -hmm. say, sister, you need me to get that? Right. I got that. For no, 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 put that down. I got that. Mm -hmm. um, grown male walks into the room looking to serve himself first. A grown male. A grown, a grown male. male. A grown male. It's a so a guys. man looks to be of service. A grown <laughs> male looks to be served. Oh, oh my God. Listen, you got. I, I'm almost about to walk out. I can't believe. I don't know what else to do. I, I need you to. No, seriously. Yes. Yes. This is real I think thing. a lot of women are in relationships with, with grown males. males and in marriages with grown males. males. Uh -huh. And then you end up getting divorced so, because you were in a marriage with a grown male exactly and that. not so, a man. Exactly that. So here's okay. what I want you to think of. All right. Think of yourself. <laughs> think of yourself in a relationship, in a home, in a bed with a boy who is 15 years old who just took over the body of a 35-year-old male. Mm -hmm. That's really what that equates to. Yes. Wow. Not, well, go ahead. No, 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 uh, whatever age that they're at, they That's stay right. there if That's they don't where heal he got from stuck. it. Yeah. So, That's some, right. so in that instance, a lot of our men are lacking this fatherhood that you were speaking of in the break. That's right. Could this be what is happening with our men that they're never really healing from those wounds, from mm -hmm. not having the man in their life, and they just carry on throughout life? His, that... de his development was arrested at Ooh. whatever that age was. 
So he stopped on, matriculating Lord, into manhood at that, that point. Age. Yes. So let it's me give crazy. you an example. I actually cheated in my life in my early 20s because, and I'll never forget this, I actually cheated on, and I'm not going to say who that is to protect the, the those girl. that, mm -hmm. right? So I actually didn't want to do that. And I was disappointed that I actually did. Mm -hmm. So I began examining why I did that. Mm -hmm. And I'll never forget this. I got to a point, my father was in and out of jail my entire life, mm -hmm. right? So without having, my mother did a phenomenal job of introducing me uh, to the principles of manhood. Mm -hmm. But actually walking out manhood is the job of a man. Mm -hmm. yes. My mother can't teach me to be something yeah. she's not. Right, 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 yes. right, right. That's right. the misconception. Right. Your mother cannot teach you how to be a man because she's not a man. Let me give you an example. If you want to become a chef, my mother taught me how to cook. So I'm a man who knows how to cook. But it doesn't make me a chef. Right. If I want to be a chef, I got to get under That's the tutelage good. of mm -hmm. a chef. Yes, yes. Okay? Mm -hmm. So my father actually had me, and this was probably at the age of around 11. My father had me in the car, and he said to me, I love your mother. And it made me feel so good because a child just wants to hear that his father loves his mother. But at the very next moment, he looked out the window and whistled to a, a, a sister across the street. Mm -hmm. The messaging that I got from that was, you can love a woman, but then be in lust with a bunch of others. Mm -hmm. So what that taught me was, this behavior is okay. Mm -hmm. If that's good for my father, it's then that's what I should be right. doing too. Do. So at what point did you say, I can't live my life like this, I can't be a cheater, I can't be a deceiver, I can't be someone who's gonna betray someone's trust. At what point did that, that, that light bulb come on for you? I'm gonna tell you, the, the moment that it, 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 it came on in, 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 in parts. So when I got married, I said, okay, I gotta get my, I gotta make sure that I am living my life out in integrity mm -hmm. in that space. Mm -hmm. And then, two years later, my daughter was born. Mm. And I said, ma'am, you are gonna be held accountable not only by your wife, not only by God, but your daughter has been sent to you as a living, breathing example of exactly what you are supposed to put into this world. Mm -hmm. So everything that you want for her, you better deliver to your wife. Mm. And this is over. Yes, it well, is. Good night. <laughs> Thank you. And Andre, I we can't take it. We I, I, I wish this. we had more segments. I wish with we them. had more the, segments. The manhood book is coming. There you go. And Tease my that. gift to all of my sisters is I'm going to train up our males to be men Please so do. that they can be the men that they were supposed to be in order to properly cover you and to properly train up our our uh, our children. We are sister circle. Can, can, we, can we <laughs> <laughs> can we book you next week? <laughs> Thank you so much for sharing your thoughts, your insights. Yes. Uh, we love to hear how you feel. Please send us your thoughts at Sister Circle TV on all of our social media platforms.